the Mark 10 motorized force test system with an ESM301 motorized test stand. The test stand has a maximum load of 300 pounds force. Uh, it has, it's equipped with an M4-2 digital force gauge, which has a max of 2 pounds of, of force. There's a motorized stage, so it tracks along as the uh, cross piece goes up, the stage moves left, and it has a, uh, includes a PC for data acquisition. So here we start here, we've got our Dell Dimension uh, computer. It has Windows XP Professional loaded on it. The administrator account is the only account and the guest account. Uh, there is no password for the administrator account. Uh, all you need to do is press enter. Comes with the mouse keyboard and the monitor. And over here we have, here's the ESM301 test stand. This is the force gauge. It also comes with a box of some uh, extra uh, parts if need be. On the back of the of this unit here, these are these are your hard set points for your up and down motions. All your cable connections are back here, and on the back of the PC, and they'll be numbered before it leaves. So right now we're loaded um, in the demo software. There's two versions of software on here. There's this demo version, which has a Nagware demo uh, logo that comes up, and you just hit OK, and the software will work. Um, different configurations tabs. This has the ability, this demo software, to uh, uh, control, but the, there is no control option on this unit uh, and no control software um, configured. So uh, all this is for is data acquisition. So we can go to test setup and here's where you can tell it how, how if you want to delay um, and you can see there's many things grayed out here um, and then you can go time, uh, the stop condition, do you want it to stop at a certain amount of time, um, when a load threshold is reached or how many readings you take. Here's your test units, and these are all standard Windows drop downs uh, that you can use. And things like this, now see this has this read, but it doesn't work. None of those things are hooked up. So we go over to acquisition, and this is the standard acquisition. You can see I've been making one, um, and it's ready to acquire now. So we'll go over to, this, to the test stand itself. And this also has two modes. This has a demo mode and a standard operating mode. In standard operating mode, any of the options that would come uh, in this unit that are not included have been deconfigured. So right now we're in the demo mode, which will have a time limit. Um, right now it's approximately 140 hours left on the demo mode. And in that mode you can um, allow certain things to occur that you couldn't in normal operation and eventually that will expire. You can contact uh, Mark 10 company on the web uh, and they can get a code from them and the, you can enable options if you need them. So right now I've got it in the demo mode and you can see we have cycles and we have it um, set at 10. Uh, to change something like this as, as such as cycles you can go to menu and it starts going through these uh, series of, uh, of uh, entries that you can make and you can use the arrow keys to go through them. So here I'm in cycles and I'm going to shorten that. So I'm going to hit enter and then I have plus and minus and I'm going to take, take this down to two cycles and then I hit enter and once you change all the parameters that you want, you hit escape and it asks you if you want to change and I do want to save the changes. So it's now done that. We're set to two cycles. We also have um, speeds here. So I'm going to let it go with the, the set uh, parameters right now. On this side we have 
our power indication, our stop and our up and our down. We also have an emergency stop located here. Now I've just got a band-aid configured on here for the stickiness so as it increases in height and, the, and the, it travels to the left, uh, you will get a perpendicular pull uh, on it and you will see it plot on the software. So I'm going to start the software. And now it's started. Now I'm going to hit the power up. And you can see our force is changing. And as it's changing, it's plotting over there. It'll reach the hard stop and then go back down. And these speeds that it goes up and down are configurable separately in the options. And now it'll go back up again. And you can see it's counting down the number of cycles. and it's completed its two cycles set. At this point, the software, since it's acquisition only and not control, and I had it set to a uh, maximum time, um, it's continuing on even though this has stopped. So at this point, I can just tell it stop here, and it'll keep the data. And you can export the data. Um, you can also do uh, analysis here, and you can see the, da the data in a graph. You can manipulate the graph, etc., and export to Excel is located here, and you could do whatever Excel reports you want there. The other software that comes with this uh, on, on the PC here is the light version. So I'm exiting out of the demo, and that which was here, and then going into the light version immediately see the difference. There's only two tabs. Um, there are, there's little settings. Uh, it's either single readings or continuous readings. Um, start and stop conditions, how many readings, etc. And then when you were, if you were to do uh, the same thing here, it's not going to go cycles. It's just going to acquire data. Uh, and I'll just show that it does. start here and you can see it's acquiring data And you can see here, when it's acquiring data, it looks like a little LED is coming on to show you that it is. And we've completed. This is still acquiring because I've told it to take a total of 500 readings. And if we go back to acquisition, I'm going to show you that it actually stops at 500. 
and there we go. It's stopped, and at this point, you can see we've got up all of our data points are collected here, and we can export it to Excel, just like in the other program, and automatically dumps everything to Excel, and then you can do what you want to manipulate that data. In both of these programs, the light and the demo version, there's a help button and the websites, you can go through there if you're connected to the uh, internet, and uh, the user's guide for both of those are also there. For the test unit, the manual I've put on the desktop here, this is the 301 user's guide, and it's an Adobe PDF file. And it tells you how to how to control everything through there. It, it also does explain about demo mode and feature um, activation, etc. I'd like to show you a little bit about this. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to. You can see this is adjustable, and I just want to point out the accuracy of this unit. So this is a 100. This is a 20. So you can see that uh, throughout its range, it's able to weigh accurately.